What was I saying? I don't know. Y'all talking about the passion. I don't know. Hey, but all right, let, I, I heard y'all talking about uh, uh, Shakir and yeah, Cam and Mace. On that until you got yeah, I heard y'all talking about that a little bit. Uh, Three profit shoes. Then, then Shakir Stevenson is just, I feel like just running with that narrative. Of course, he could be born or whatever, but when you on the platform and you said it, it's like you down talking. And so when it's like you down talking, and that's when he respond, and then when he respond, then they go beyond the box and shit. Like it started off with boxing, but then it, it seemed like it be past boxing. Or something. To get past boxing, though. talk about guns, pick up your straps, like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna, somebody gonna get pa t take it past there. But they don't do that with the white man that just got fired. Oh, skip. Yeah. That's why he got fired. Nah, because we be always screaming culture, and then if you go keep screaming that, it be like my brother turning into my brother. You trying to you taking them? Ah. Yeah, you taking away from my sales. What you on? What you what you on at this point? Like you, see, it don't matter what you really feel. You can hit me on the side. It turned into that, but then it just gonna take away from your raw. Authentic, yeah, authentic it's gonna take there. away. Like everybody got relationships oh, out here. That's a great take. Nobody got time for that. And that's why Adam ain't able to do it up. Yeah, 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 no, Adam, I, yeah, he, he, he ain't doing shit, though. He not, though, but like yeah. said, that's why he not getting the threats like Cam got. Nigga said, we gonna come, go get you. Cause it's, uh, I, I gotta get on money. <coughs> that was really a great-ass take right there, though. That culture shit. Yeah, so, that's, that's what it come, up, come down to, though, but <coughs> now, it, that quickly, so now, they go the ripple effect is Jay Prince been stamping him since damn near day one, I believe. That's right? his right here. Yeah, so been stamping him damn near. Oh no, he been on. I think he talked about him on Gilly Wall, Gilly and Wallow show. Man, Jay Prince is his. Homie. That's his. So it's like yeah. So all right, cool. He looking at it like, listen, man. If I've been knowing this kid since a boy some Birdman shit, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's different. You know I, what I mean? I yeah, feel. like cool. I I hear what y'all saying, but. It seemed like y'all had a little more oomph in y'all in y'all tone, maybe yeah. because it's just him. You feel me? Maybe y'all wouldn't have done that to Tank. Well, what the motion he got, y'all probably wouldn't have done that in that light if he had a boring fight. You know what I'm saying? But so Jay Prince coming in. So since y'all put that uh, in the air and he he responded, I just want to take over the conversation from here and just let it be known he didn't really do nothing wrong. He just saying like, listen. He's Out loud, in. like I want to take over the conversation from here. I want some manager shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That wasn't right, no I manager. got it. Like, yeah, what, what's yeah. that? Was that really on manager shit? Yeah, for sure. It could, it could be. For that's a why brand you've been building, that's definitely, that's definitely he could have, he could have done some, some, some big homie shit and really hit him and say, "Hey, man, yeah, come on, like, yeah, yeah, don't do that what, to yeah, my yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you know what I'm saying? But maybe, yeah, maybe it's his ego feeling like they don't even got an opportunity to basically say. Man, we go do that, Unc, big homie. Like we go do that. Then at that point, he like, hold on, like, you feel me? Now it's really disrespect. Because it, well, it's, it, like it's really thing. crazy though. Because like they do, uh, they on camera often. So when they on camera often, and you tweet back at them, you're not gonna be able to get your get off like how they could get they get off. Like they was doing whole skits while he was while the fight was on. They was acting sleep and shit. They was just like they could just play more because this is they field. This yeah. is they realm. So it's like I feel like he had to. Well, he didn't have to, but as the nigga manager or you know when it comes to the music shit and he, him being plugged in because Jay Prince definitely is plugged in. Yeah, he a nigga I feel like he's, he, that's what made him step in. Like y'all y'all just doing too much. And if y'all got something else to say, I'm address it with me. Yeah. At the end of the day. So what, but what? Shakur shouldn't is like when you go back at a nigga, when you go back and forth, they gonna win because they always on camera at they the end of the day. Yeah, they can pump out more content. Yeah, and you. you just gonna keep tweeting like, uh, shut the fuck up, old niggas, and then it's just like they do a whole thirty minute. Yeah, you know, just a whole serving. Yeah, for just serve. Yeah, they, serve, they were serving shit though. Nah, God. for sure, for sure. They response to the Jay Prince shit was. Yeah, that's one of my favorite shows right now. That's definitely. my favorite shit right now. That nigga. Where they land on that list? You know. Uh, I don't even know if they was on that bitch. They was on the list. They was on the list? I don't know if oh, they yeah, was on who, that list. Yeah. Because that was a hip-hop list. That was a hip-hop list. They sports. 
Uh, I don't think they was on the list, though, to be honest. Uh, that's crazy. But if they, they, they really doing it up, though. But that nigga, that nigga May said, I'm looking like, who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, May sir, that nigga. Hey, yo, New York niggas is the funniest niggas when they talk yeah, to shit. Yeah, nah, that's, that's some shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. This shit really made me, because I ain't never really been a fan of Cameron, for real. For real? Yeah, I was always Joel's, Jim Jones. Okay. And shit, but, you for know. For what, though? What, 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 why was you fans of them niggas? The music or? Music is just like, just, they, you know. So, okay, so I always fucked with, um, with Cam for the film shit. You get no, the saying? film shit, no, he cold. Yeah, I always yeah, fucked with him for, yeah, for, for sure. what he is now. Like how niggas, so maybe musically, yeah, Cam wasn't the one for me. Yeah, not the one. Even though he had standouts. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But whatever, anyways, yeah. It was Jewel for always. me. Like how you said but it was this shit, though, gym. it's low-key. It's kind of weird, though, but his personality on here... I hear his records different now. You know what I'm saying? So you send him, you kind of send him for a year. Yeah, you get to it's see kinda, the character. It's different. It's weird, but I, cause I fuck with him on here. So now I'm so going to play his records now, like just to see what's up. I've always been a fan of Mace. Yeah, Mace, Mace, Mace is just hilarious to me. Like Mace, hilarious to me. I ain't never thought I could talk, listen to somebody talk that slow and be that yeah, funny, he, bro. I think that's what makes his shit funny, cause the slow talking with the delivery. Yeah. <laughs> that's your beautiful deliveries, bro. He was like, "Who the fuck is this nigga?" I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> But yeah, though, shout out them niggas, man, on God. And shout out to the to uh Houston, bro. That shit wild, man, on the real. Um, how do y'all feel about this uh when is the time to get out the streets as a as an OG and shit? Like how that niggas was getting that J Prince, like nigga, you 60, you ain't supposed to do the hits for the little niggas. Like when did it come to the little niggas telling the older niggas to do something? What did y'all think about that type of shit though? Uh I mean I don't think they I don't think he told him to do that. I think he did that on his own. Yeah, for I the think Jay uh, Prince just did that on his own, like, uh, and shit. I mean, at the end of the day, when you mature, when you when you get there mentally, that's when you should get out the get niggas out. Gonna, of, niggas gonna ride about they bread though. There ain't no age. If niggas playing with y'all bread, then niggas gonna ride about that. Regards. I don't even think that got an age limit. Yeah, but you said when should you get out the streets or some shit. Yeah, but I'm saying though, if you even if you ain't in the streets, you if there's somebody playing with the way you getting your money, you gonna do oh, some nah, yeah, shit. Oh no, yeah, yeah, no, you definitely that, that's, cause that's in you. Like that's just yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Not to Jay resort Prince. back to that. Yeah, that's what I don't think Jay Prince is in the streets, but I'm thinking here. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna protect his interests of the business. Yeah, yeah, Jay Prince definitely. I don't think he out there like hugging blocks and shit. You get what I'm saying? That nigga, I would hope not. For real, for real. Shout out to them niggas, though, for sure. Yeah, chat. Y'all smash that motherfucking like button. Shout out to the wrenches. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Tiny in here. Kimmy Keem in his bitch. You feel me? Oh, you want to light that light? Uh, let me see, though. Well, yeah, y'all make sure y'all smash that like button and shit like that. Did y'all, uh, so it's some, I got some questions too, though. So the nigga from the YSL case, I forgot his name. 